Yeah, but before that, I'll start with a um, housekeeping announcement. I don't know if you've noticed, but LEBM had an uneven parenthesis, so um, everything up until now was part of Ellie's talk. I'm closing this, and <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, I'm the second talk uh, in this RAM session. Um, okay, and what? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so, um, what I'm, yeah. What I'm going to talk about is how we avoided the second dual EC fiasco. I should have titled that probably Simon and Spec will not be standardized as encryption, uh, encryption algorithms in ISO. Uh, this was a joint effort with many people, but mostly with Atul Likes, um, whom I feel didn't get the credit he deserves, so kudos Atul for being part of this. And I don't know if you've heard, but last week, ISO decided to reject the idea of standardizing Simon and Spec as part of their lightweight encryption algorithm. Uh, this is something we fought for for um, something like two years until it was finally done. And after the story broke um, in the news, I've already started seeing some misinformation, or I think that now it's the new name for this is fake news about why this was the case. So I wanted to say why ISO decided as it did. So first, that the, most importantly, the NSA, um, which sent people to the meetings to promote the standard, the, these algorithms, they were um, very adversarial to the process. They refused to answer to any questions. They refused to motivate any decision they made. Um, at first, they argue that it's uh, whatever third-party cryptanalysis exists for these ciphers is enough. After they've met uh, opposition in ISO, they released something that seemed to be a design rationale, which is EPRIN 2017-560. Um, but, well, okay, claiming to be a design rationale, but digging into this um, document shows that there are still there were still many open questions some of which I explained in my RAMP session talk in crypto. This seems to be a career thing. I would be able to give RAMP sessions every, in every conference now. So the slides will be online if you want to watch my uh, presentation from crypto. Um, but another example, I don't know if you can see this, uh, but when we asked them how did they choose the matrices U, V, and W for the diffusion layer of the key schedule of Simon, they said that ISO is not the right place to discuss this, which could have been a proper answer unless a few comments prior to that, when someone asked pretty much the same question, they said that they want uh, more detail of what is being asked. So in answering general questions, they said they want specific questions, and trying to answer specific, or not trying to answer specific questions, they said, we will not answer this. Um, so this was the first thing. Then I've also heard that uh, it's outrageous that ISO accepts proposals from China and Russia, but not the US. So I wanted to stress that this is not about politics. Um, ISO's process is about building consensus. It involves many countries, different cultures. It's extremely difficult. And what you need to do is to inspire confidence um, in your design. Simon and Speck don't enjoy this uh, confidence. The adversarial behavior by the NSA didn't help that, but the ciphers themselves seem a bit shaky. Which brings us to the next point that um, the designers claim that there are over 75 papers um, analyzing Simon and Speck, none of which was able to break the algorithms. Um, which is not exactly true. So among these 75 papers, at least five are mine. They definitely don't support the claim that the algorithms are secure. Um, they even in this design rationale cited papers um, to prove their point. So here they explain how the algorithms resist rotational attacks. And they say, see also AL16, this A is sure, that's my paper. Definitely not claiming that the algorithm, in fact, proposing the, what was then the best rotational, or the best attack against spec using rotational cryptanalysis. So at best, and also, so a few weeks ago, there was um, another paper on ePrint uh, suggesting a full attack on Simon, which I didn't have time to read yet. But it seems that cryptanalysis about these algorithms is progressing and definitely hasn't stabilized yet. 
and there was the uh, strange and very aggressive behavior when facing questions like how did you choose the number of rounds for each algorithm they answered pretty much you're stupid and not only to me which is actually true but to other people i'm not going to mention names but some of these people are the general, the general chairs for this conference others they are leading this uh, ramp session but again no one in particular um, not naming names of course what not naming any names yeah no, exactly not naming names um so i zoom after much discussion and i'm talking about like a year and a half of discussions, decided that it's just not worth it. It doesn't matter whether the ciphers are secure or not, and whether there's a backdoor or not. It's, um, there's so much fog around it, so much doubt and uncertainty that it's gonna damage ISO's reputation to put these algorithms into the standards, which is a um, cry out for other people considering using these algorithms. Don't, it's just not worth it. It doesn't matter if it's backdoored or not. Just don't use it. Um, that's all, thank you.